Hi, this land has mystery. I live in this 2005 Toyota Sienna minivan all by myself. A little bit about me. I was born in the 1900s in the American Midwest, where I grew up in a house with multiple television sets. Things I like include getting Final Jeopardy correct when the three contestants get it wrong, and me goring Indonesian instant noodles. Things I dislike, water chestnuts, glitter, the Green Bay Packers, and falling asleep with my mouth open. At this time, I'd like to offer you a free tour of my 2005 Toyota Sienna minivan. That's correct. I am approaching middle age, living full time in a tan minivan. The babes are back. Now, let's get to the, oh, this is really nice too. This just kind of shows beautiful aging. It's called marbling. All right, so here's the business end of things. I highly recommend removing the passenger seat if you are a solo nomad in a minivan because look at how much space it opens up. I did this much too late. This should have been the first seat that I removed. If you are living in your van, nobody is gonna wanna ride with you. This is my desk. It's secured with uh, some paracord here and pipe insulation that is stapled to this project board. And this is just freestanding, so this comes up. I've got weights on there now, so it's hard to lift. Uh, this just pulls right out, so I can use it outside if I want. This is how I power my laptop and my phone, whatever else. This is just an extension cord that runs back to the solar inverter. For internet, I just hotspot to my phone and I added a line to my old phone so that I have 40 extra gigs. If I want to supplement it and not use all the data, then I just go to like a Walmart parking lot or I go to a public library. I know a lot of people buy those mobile hotspot devices. To me, those just aren't worth it. They're so expensive. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. This is my little pop-up stool and I just pop this up and there's my little stool. But as it's not that comfortable to sit on that stool all day, I can turn my laptop and turn this into a standing desk. I like this setup because I can stretch my legs and after all, sitting is the new smoking. It's my bathroom section. So I've got the flushable wipes and toilet paper. This is a military shovel. I mean, it's not an official one. And then I can just use it if I'm uh, doing a, a poo out in the woods. My favorite thing about this model year Sienna, they have airbag warnings on both visors, uh, passenger and driver's side, a really nice improvement. Whenever I want to look at my sweetheart, my baby doll, She's right there at all times. Love you so much, baby. Love you. Finally, here is a dowel rod. I have it suspended just from some spare parts that I had lying around. This was part of my original curtain. I had four of these uh, going around my Honda Polo. Before I had this van, I had a Honda Polo. You might say Pilot. It's actually Polo. It's French. And this is the only one that I have remaining of those. So I have these curtains. I just have the one curtain now. My mom actually sewed these for me. Thanks, Mom. And then this just kind of closes up like so. And it's a nice privacy curtain for me. And then the other side is black. So this is what they would see on the other side. Some hand wipes there, bathing wipes when I don't want to take a shower and a vacuum cleaner. This is a Bissell. And my two other pair of shoes right there. And then my Thule backpack. I'm not going to do a full demo of this pack because I did that in a previous video. So you'll have to check that out. This is sort of my daily uh, DOP kit or uh, travel kit. Then I've got these uh, Sea to Summit wilderness wipes. Wiping down in the morning, wiping down in the evening, face, uh, all my pits, nasty bits. I have two buckets. The orange one is for potty. I line it with trash bags and dispose of it like you would dog poo or something like that. So nothing ever touches that. I mean, I could eat out of it if I wanted to. I've got a mosquito net, which comes in really handy when it's hot and I want to keep one of the doors open. I've got a couple saws. I've got a machete. And this is my bug out bag. I got my med kit here. Got just my basic kit. I've got a few of these 72 hour food supply rations and just rope. Got a hammock, winter weather gear, fishing pole. Got a collapsible water jug, canteen, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I've got a life straw here, miniature wood burning stove. Got my paracord and a lighter to light the ends of the paracord so they don't fray. Fire starter. All right, so not a whole lot going on on the driver's side. I've got a lot of vehicle cleaning supplies, vehicle fluids, I've got my drill, uh, socket set. I've got more tools under the bed. Then here is my biking stuff. So I've got my cleats up top there. Stuff that I use when I bike, but I don't want to keep on the bike on the back of my vehicle because it can get stolen. This is my shower tent. And I try to keep my bucket of water in the sun as long as I can. So when it is time to shower, I have a 1000 watt heating element here. Drop it in and I plug it in to my solar inverter. This is a USB rechargeable shower head that I have. And that is where I shower.
Okay, let's check out the living quarters. Don't let me forget to show you my awning. I'll probably forget. This used to be an automatic door, but uh, it's not automatic anymore. I just started giving me problems and I got frustrated. There is my potty cup and here are the living quarters. Clothes are in here, so that's all my socks, underwear, and shirts. This is the packing cube that is for that Thule backpack that I was showing you earlier. Pants, uh, I have three pairs of pants now. I think I'm gonna get rid of this top pair. It's an old pair of hiking pants by Prana. Then one pair of jeans, and then the uh, $15 Costco pants that are kind of my everyday pants now. So here I've got a couple sweaters, uh, flannel, puffy vest. It all fits there. So all my clothes are right here, or on me. So behind my clothing, I have a few random things. So toiletries, I've got my drone and other random electronic supplies are organized all back here. Everything you need to live the van life and a whole lot more is in my toolkit here. Let's talk about my bed. Ooh. Bed itself is three quarter inch plywood. I just had it cut to size at Home Depot when I first bought the van. I believe these are 11 inches long. So for my mattresses, I just have these foam mattress pads that I got at Fred Meyer. $25 each for these things. If I were on the prices right and I were playing one of those games and they said, all right, Mr. E, how much do you think these Fred Meyer mattress pads cost? I would say $7.99 a piece. Think about that for a moment now. <laughs> and then I have one of those eggshell ones too. They're all kind of yellowing, not from pee, but just from age, I guess. And then I keep my window coverings underneath my $60 worth of mattresses. And then I don't have a blankie. I just have a 10 degree sleeping bag from Marmot. Oh, nice Marmot. It's a mummy bag. And then I have a fleece liner as well. The carpet was six feet by four feet initially, and I cut it up to size. And then I just cut sections for the front. And this is a fire escape right here. So it's very important to keep this area clear. And then in here, I've just got one of these little LED light things so I can light up the night sky with my galaxy, like a uh, nine-year-old child would do. This fan is really nice because it turns to face me if I'm at my desk, or if I'm sleeping, it'll face me that way. Or if I'm filming a YouTube video, I can face it that way. And it's got these bendy legs, and so I can wrap it around things or I can set it up right. Also, don't read anything into these political buttons. I just like old political memorabilia. Got my two pillows there, so this one is for when I'm sitting. And then when it's time to go nighty-night, I just store it. Up there. This is a, uh, it's a memory foam pillow and it's got a silk pillowcase. The creature comforts of van life. And then I've got that nail right there. And that is for E. You should never forget who you are. So this is the headboard. The other side is the backsplash for the kitchen. So the base is project board. And then I glued in and screwed in some laminate flooring. I was house sitting for some people and they had just removed their old laminate flooring, which is this, and put in some new stuff. So I just grabbed a few pieces. And it's also what makes up the floor of my kitchen. So here's my little reading lamp. It's a uh, USB rechargeable, made by Vont, one of the pioneers of American industry. Just kidding, it was made in China. My little temperature thing, I have the temperature up in my solar panel. Speaking of a solar panel, there's my solar charge controller. I don't like how these are all curved, but um, I had to accommodate for my little table. This is a white noise machine. This is my Bose Bluetooth speaker. Uh, a friend of mine from Australia gave it to me. Couldn't fit in his pack because he acquired some things and was taking some wine home. Uh, yeah, I'll take a free $300 Bluetooth speaker, thank you. This is my little Kindle. Another fan, I don't like this one as much. Rotates this one way and it's battery operated, not USB rechargeable like my other one. And I just have that secured with Velcro. I, I can't believe it's 2022 and we still have 15 different types of chargers, but uh, th this is all of them right here. I just keep it on this hook and then I can plug it in to my power strip here. So if I take all this stuff off, the entire table lifts away. I need to clean it. I didn't really clean any of my van before I started this tour. I glued magnets to the bottom of this. Then I glued magnets to these shelf brackets as well. The table was originally a step. I had a different plan in mind for my desk. And I, I, so I just went to Home Depot and purchased an entire step, like, you know, from a staircase. Like with any van build, it's a lot of trial and error. <laughs> my, 
my battery is a 200 amp hour lithium ion battery, 3000 watt inverter with a 6000 watt surge. Cables are all to size. I have it fused. And my solar charge controller is a 30 amp MPPT controller. If you've watched enough van life videos, you've probably seen these coverings before. It's just black fabric on one side and reflectix on the other. So if I want to block the sun, I have this side facing out. And if it's not as hot and I just want privacy, this is the side that faces out. In my two rear windows, I cut these little portholes out. I highly recommend doing this. So I've got one of these little LED remotes and then these string lights that go all the way around. So this is nice if I just want to illuminate my van and chill. But if it's a Friday or Saturday night, Mr. E is throwing it down. So here's the kitsch. We've got a couple puck lights up here. This and this are the same size, same dimensions, everything, both from Walmart. And so I've got one upright, one horizontal. This is my Noah's Ark of knives. I've got one of each. This is secured with tacky tape. It's not going anywhere. And then in here is just some food, cleaning stuff. This is a sharpening stone, a Japanese water stone. Anyway, you probably get the picture. Oh, these are nice though. They replace Ziploc bags and uh, plastic containers. Stasher. I've got a couple of these. This is the bigger one. These are my coffee beans. This is my three cup Chemex coffee maker. This is my Bialetti mocha pot. This is what I put in my mocha pot. And then when this empties, I uh, get rid of the old one and I start urinating in this one. Jackery, it used to be my primary source of power. It's now just backup. And the solar panel for my Jackery. I keep my Jackery plugged in there at all times so that if I ever do need to use it, it's got 100% charge. Wine rack is here. Got my fire starter, my filters for my Chemex coffee maker. This is the scale that I use to weigh my coffee beans. I made a video about how I make coffee every morning, so check that out if you're interested. And then finally, the water dispenser here. I usually just fill it up with like glacier water or river water if it's clean. If not, I just go to Safeway or Walmart or Fred Meyer. It's a USB rechargeable dispenser. This is not plugged in. I just keep it so I don't lose it. And it just dispenses like that with the push of a button. So down here, I have my frying pan. It's a La Crusade. Picked it up at Goodwill. This is my 12 volt vehicle fridge. I've got a puck light down here too. And back here I've got one of those jump packs. Super long extension cord that I never use. But these are my fins. Uh, I'm a scuba diver. Wetsuit. Uh, this is an inflatable air mattress. This is just personal effects, old travel journals. Gotta get some, some uh, terminal caps. This is just a brace that I screwed in because uh, it's kind of sagging. My kettle. Oh, Vermont. <laughs> Where are you from, sir? Oh, Vermont. And my Nutribullet and this thing. And then finally, this is the pull-out table. Carabiner and some paracord. And I attach it like so. The table itself has this little handle I installed, some paracord. Just a very thin piece of project board. I put some duct tape on there so this doesn't wear. And this is just oil cloth from Joanne Fabric. So you can see what the table rides on. It's those two little uh, one by twos that are attached to the, uh, the legs of the bed. These used to be legs before I had this fridge and everything down here. And I just sawed them off. <laughs> I made a video about that during my kitchen build. So there are only two legs suspending the bed right now, as well as these supports. This backsplash is attached to the bed frame with these little screws right here. And then this is also oil cloth from Joanne Fabric. And then I've got these brackets to attach the Walmart cube shelf to the board itself. Okay, Solar. I glued it using these brackets. And these are just two by fours I glued on. It's, you know, the roof is curved and I had to remove the crossbar. Cables just come in here. That white one is my outdoor thermometer. 
and then I put some cables for my own peace of mind on either side. Okay, well that's all I've got for you this time around. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the world. Hey, this is a private residence, man.